I'm going to guide you through everything you need to know about using Cursor to build web applications without any coding experience. We'll be building this beautiful web application in under 10 minutes. Cursor AI is a really interactive code editor that lets you build beautiful websites without any knowledge required. You can make these beautiful web applications using just simple prompts. Firstly, we're going to go to the Cursor website, www.cursor.com, and you're going to download Cursor for free. Cursor has several tiers, and you're going to be using the free one. So you simply hit download for free and download the exe. Once it's done downloading, you can install Cursor. Simply hit it to install Cursor. Once Cursor is done installing, you're going to have this beautiful application here. Firstly, we're going to go to V0 by Vercel. This is an application that lets you generate really beautiful UIs for your websites. All we have to do is provide a simple prompt. In this case, we're going to be generating our Notion-like language learning application. So I'm just going to ask it to generate a clean looking Notion-like website for language learning. All right, I'll be a bit more specific and I'll ask it to make it in a single page. And then V0 is going through my prompt and it's going to be creating the UI for this website. So it's coding up the UI and while it's doing that, we're able to see a preview of the website. So this is great. It's got a nice header, it's got a progress, we've got lessons, and vocabulary. Awesome. So I'm thinking I'd like to move the vocabulary section to the top and add some buttons so it's more interactive. So I'm just going to ask Vizier to make those changes, and it's able to change my website to reflect that. So it's coding up my website, and I have the preview. All right, that's looking much better. And you can keep making these changes until we're happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a counter for the score. Mm, it's overlapping, so I'm gonna ask it to fix that. And that is better. Okay, let's make the text a bit larger there. Great, so now we have our beautiful website design. We have the header a bit larger than it was. We have our vocabulary over here with the correct answers. We have our score counter at the top in the header. We have our progress, our lessons, and our quick practices. So yeah, that's perfect. So now we're going to take this application so that we can start modifying it with cursor we need to be able to run it on our computer. To do that, we're going to install Node.js so that we can actually run our program on our computer. You're going to hit download Node.js and save it on your computer. And when it's done downloading, just click on download and install it. Follow the directions until Node is installed in your computer. Now that we have Node installed on our computer, we can start creating our project. I'm going to run Cursor. This is the Cursor Editor. At the top, I'm going to click on View and Terminal. Now we're in the Cursor Terminal. We're going to create a new Node.js project. To create a new Node.js project, we're going to do npm install. This will install all the software that we need to let us run our Node project. So we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna take a little bit of time to run. Now that that's done, we're going to create the project using Vite. We're going to run npm create Vite. We're going to give this a basic project name. So for now, we'll just do language learner. Now we're going to select the language that V0 told us that I use. So in this case, it's React. We're going to select that with the up and down keys and also TypeScript. Now we're just going to run the commands that it told us to run. So we can copy and paste these by holding right click.
This will take a little bit of time. All right, now we have ran our website. We can go to the link provided to be able to see the website that we created. So this is a basic Vite React website. Now we can open up the project that we just created in cursor so that we can start using the AI powered editing. This is our Vite project. We're going to open up source and our app TSS. This is the file that we're seeing. Now we don't want to see this basic file. To use AI powered editing, we go to view appearance and chat. Instead of seeing the basic default text, we want to change it for the language learner that V0 created. So we just copy by clicking the button at the top right. So in our app.tsx, we're going to copy over the file and delete it and paste the code that V0 provided for us. We're going to change the name of this file to app. Now we can run our local hosts and see that we did it. Now let's create some basic changes. Instead of saying learner, Let's instead say my name. Let's call that Julie. So I'll ask, please show the name of the learner instead of just the text learner. My name is Julie. And we'll just send that. And the AI will go through it for a bit and it will provide some suggestion. At the top right of the suggestion, you can hit apply and then accept. Now we can go back to our code and refresh the page. And hey, it did it. Now our name is Julie. Let's make another change using cursor. Instead of saying Spanish, let's change the language to Japanese. So we'll use the chat box at the bottom, which is for the follow-up questions. And we're going to ask it to change the language to Japanese. So I'll just type, please change the language that I'm learning to Japanese. All right, so it's processing it and providing us with another suggestion. So I'm going to hit on apply and accept. Now we can go back to our local host and refresh. And we can see that, hey, the language is now Japanese. And it's even changed the word that we're learning. Now let's try to make this work a bit better. I only want there to be five questions and then I want the quiz to end. So it's a bit janky right now. So let's try to get it to end in five questions. So I'm going to go back to cursor and I'm going to give it a simple prompt to please change the vocabulary practice section. So there are five questions. And once I'm done answering them all, let's say we can put a message instead. It says practice completed. So I just send that to Cursor AI. And it produces another suggestion. And it's produced all this code without me having to understand any of the code so far. And I'll simply accept and apply. And it's applying the changes. So I'll accept these changes and go back to my program and let's test it. So let's say El Gato is a dog. Okay. House, La Casa. Okay, so we're able to answer these questions. And 
once we get to five, hey, we got this message. So yeah, we were able to complete this entire application and it even shows scores without having to touch a single line of code. So yeah, that's how you create an application using only Cursor AI and V0.